Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Heel. Hey guys, it's Julie and I am at Lowe's and I've got Patch with me, the chocolate lab. Boy, have we come a long way since drop off. Completely unruly, always at the end of the leash, barking, whining, zigzagging, pulling. I think he peed and pooped three or four times just at the drop off. Um, and now we're walking hands free in Lowe's. Completely calm, relaxed, at my side with a loose leash, not reacting to everything, not peeing and pooping all over the store, not sniffing everything, nose not constantly to the ground. He's prioritizing me over the environment. So theoretically, we should be able to take him anywhere and have this standard of behavior. It doesn't matter where you are. If you have that tight relationship with your dog and they prioritize you over everything else, and you have a sound or a noise or a word to disagree with energy and behaviors that you don't like, they should drop it and start prioritizing you. That's why we go off property and it's so easy for us to go anywhere we want. We just happen to come to Lowe's because it's dog friendly and the aisles are nice and wide, there's lots of distractions, but I could take him anywhere right now because I've got our communication system, right? I've got the system of yes and no and accountability and he's also got a really solid foundation of training so it means we can take our dogs anywhere and have them behave. So right now we're just healing through the aisles. Now what does heel mean? Walk at the left side, at my pace, slightly behind me. Don't mess with the environment. Don't walk up to people. Don't mess with things. Just focus on me. If anything enters our bubble and space that interests you, back off from it, look up at me for the next direction. Now he can be a little bit pushy, so let me just show you some things that I do to keep him behind me. The first thing I do is the stutter step. Good job. really nice heel position right now obviously heel as we've discussed is at the left side slightly behind following the left leg but in addition to the physical position we also need our dogs calm so if his forehead was wrinkled if his ears were up if his tail was straight up and wagging really fast if he was constantly acting like he was gonna lose it you can just correct energy so they can be in the right position, but be carrying the complete wrong energy. This is perfect. Neutral, calm, just how he should be in a public place. Okay, so we've got distractions. We've got people walking around. And the whole use of the e-collar, yes, is to enforce position errors, but also if he decides to lunge at people, go up to things, drag me to things, we can also correct that. So he's learning how to be in this busy environment and sort of be invisible. You shouldn't really know he's there. Okay, walking by people. So what we're gonna do now is go to an aisle and practice some obedience. And just make sure he can listen even in a place like this.